Okay, this is November 16th, 2014. It's about 11 a.m. and it is cold. Uh, I solved the problem with the coolant leak on this 2001 Chevy Malibu that is the 3.0 liter engine. Uh, I want to show you the tools that it took to do it. I have a 10 millimeter open end wrench with a box. I have this stubby uh, ratchet uh, wrench. I have an extension 3 8 with a 10 millimeter six point socket and a flexible head extended ratchet handle. And this is very handy to have a little LED light like this. And I'm going to use this laser pointer to show a few things. Uh, basically we're losing the coolant. This bottle is very hard to read. Uh, they could have made it a lot better so you can see through it better. But the coolant was leaking. We didn't know where it was leaking because we couldn't smell or hear anything or see anything rather. The actual place that we saw it, and there is some moisture down there now, is right down in here. And it looks like it's leaking a small amount. Let's see if I can zoom in on that spot. It's not too good with one hand on the camera, but you can see there's some coolant there now. It's just starting to leak a little bit. It's been six months since I did this. It has used almost no coolant. But eventually we'll probably have to replace the intake manifold gasket. There's an upper and lower intake manifold. This is the upper. These bolts come off and you can get down to the lower one. But I did this uh, fix without removing anything from the engine. I took this 10 millimeter 10 millimeter six point socket on the extension and there are basically four bolts that go vertically down into the engine underneath the uh, intake manifold here and I found that you can actually reach them through here 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 and here and I'm going to show you just a demonstration of this one you have to kind of finagle your way down in there but this is now on the top of the 10 millimeter uh, bolt that holds the intake, lower intake manifold to the block. Uh, these took somewhere around one turn to tighten. They were actually fairly loose. And this other one over here, I th that is now on that head of the bolt. And there are two more on the front. And you can see them down in there. But anyway, it's right down. I'll put it right there. It's on the head of the bolt. And the other one is right over here. Even easier, right on the head of the bolt. I tighten these down a little over a turn or near a turn. And the other two bolts are at a 45 degree angle going into the heads. One on the front head, one on the back head. Now, the, the trickiest one is the, uh, this is the uh, power steering pump, I believe. Uh, I like it. There's one that sets right down underneath it. And I'll get my light pointer. See if I can point to it. The junk doesn't work. Okay, I think I've got it now. I'm pointing at the head of the bolt down in there. Right in there. And the way that I got that one, at first I tightened it a little bit with this regular length combination wrench. I only moved it about a sixth of a turn. Then I bought this on eBay. It's a stubby uh, built-in ratchet box on one end. I was able to, what I had to do is bend this up. This is the coolant overflow line, I believe. I had to bend that up so I could get the wrench down in there. And you can actually take this at an angle like this and fit it underneath the pump and onto that, the head of that bolt. And this has like 12 positions in the ratchet. I was able to tighten that almost one full turn. 
The one in the back, use a regular combination wrench, and that one is right down in there. Let's see if I can get the light on that. Okay, it's right down in there. And I was able to take this wrench and come in underneath the belt here and get over. In fact, it's touching the head of it now. I actually have it on the head of the bolt now. So, tighten all six of those. When I tighten this down, in the, the vertical one's going down into the block. Get on in here. I took my long handle ratchet and I grabbed it toward the middle so I didn't put too much torque on it. I didn't want to snap these things off or over tighten them. Uh, I believe the reason that it starts to leak, the gasket definitely goes bad. But the bolts being loose, I don't think the I don't think it's the factory not tightening them properly. I think the gasket has deteriorated and shrank, causing them to be loose. That's just a guess. But anyway, this has now gone over six months, and there's only just a tiny bit of a leak there. So rather than pay somebody 800 bucks, I'd try to do it myself and spend probably a week. Uh, I found this on eBay. Somebody had taken all of the stuff off and had the new gasket set ready, but they found the bolts were loose when they went to take them out. They tightened them down, didn't put the gasket set in, and they got they bought themselves some time. So somebody may benefit from this. This car only had 22,000 miles on it three years ago when we got it. And it's a 2001. It now has 80,000 miles on it, and we didn't have to deal with this gasket yet, which is great. I thank you for watching and I hope this helps somebody.